Oh my goodness, backtracking. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Fantasia. In the last episode, we did some future shenanigans. Um, among other things, making Crest burn his face in an oven, listen to Singing Dog, which is crazy, but you know. What are they going to come up with next? No one knows. So I went back to the lone valley to get interrupted by gnolls and dragonflies. So as I was saying, I went back to Lone Valley, or... Is, now I don't think this is Lone Valley, it's some kind of valley anyway, but... You know, whatever. To get some titles and stuff that we can get here now... Oh, dang you. Why do you always have to interrupt me? So if... Oh. Yeah, I should probably do some explaining about that. <laughs> Chester actually got that title in the last episode, but you know what, um, I have actually already recorded this episode just in the past, but it decided to screw itself over because it's a douchebag like that, so I had to re-record this, but then I had to go back on another file that I had that I, where I actually didn't do the training thingamajigger with Chester, so... I hope that explains everything, and really sucks that at that that episode decided to screw itself over because I actually have some really great commentary in that, but you know. So what I plan to get done in this episode is pretty much just get some titles and items and stuff that I missed pretty much. So here we go, cutscene thing. Ah. Look, look at this! What a beautiful view! Yes, that is the uh, that is the prettiest thing I have ever seen. Yeah. What a cool, refreshing feeling. Yeah. True. Almost makes you forget the battle just for a moment. Hey, where are you going, Chester? Ah! I'm coming for you, Deos. Ah. So, um, ignoring that, shall we go? Yeah. <laughs> Chester gained the title of Fervent Man. I wonder if I get that title if I go yell off a cliff, but, you know, that's doubtful. Also, we got the reverse doll. In case you've forgotten what that is, then... Well, you can be glad that I'm here to help you. It's pretty much like an automatic revive. It just revives you from dying if you have it equipped as an item, so... Here we go. Explo- Explains everything. Why does the holy bottle fail me so much? What do you have against me? What have I ever done to you, holy bottle? And now we will be going back to Evclid. Huzzah! And what will what will we be doing here? Oh right, uh, I didn't go to Evclid either in this episode or in, on this pile. So just ignore this. Ignore it. Ignore it. That never happened. Klaus, Press, you know this. You never had this conversation. This is probably the most confusing episode I have ever had. Okay, that's enough. Now I'll get the things that I missed. Okay, go to the inn. And if you go to sleep at the inn, it's been around for more than a century. You can save for 10 gold a night, which is very cheap and conservative. Whatever that means. And here we get another cutscene. Isn't cutscenes just the best thing ever? It's always such a relief to arrive at the inn. Yeah, true. About the game, true. Humph. Evclid, eh? Yes, Evclid, eh? Flashback. Millard, is that you? I made some tea. Okay. I'll just put it here. Okay. Can you say anything other than okay? Don't overdo it, okay? Okay. What did I just ask you of? What? You want something? No. Then leave me alone for a while, will you? I'm busy at the moment. Jeez, Klaus. No need to be a douchebag. Millard. Hey, 
dress? Is it just me or has he been acting a little weird? Definitely. Is there something wrong, Klaus? Huh? Uh, um... No, not really. Now you're starting to sound like Cress. Happy... Like, that's one thing I never really got about this title. How does that... How does that make him a happy fellow? Really. That didn't really have much with the cutscene to do at all. Which is just weird. But oh well. So, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to go to Evclid Castle. Yes, city of Evclid, Evclid Castle. Castle, castle, castle. Castle, 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 castle. That was just stupid. And very random. Okay, and now I think we need to go to here. Where? Wow, that sounds really stupid. Here? What? And you? It is an honor to meet you. We are on a quest to defeat Deus. Well, you must be the heroes mentioned by the King of Avenista. Heroes? I wouldn't go that far. Archie, watch your tongue in front of the king. In front of the king? It's fine. Now, I have a modest depend to support you on your journey. Cash? Your majesty, that's not necessary. I almost had the wrong voice there. I'm so good at making wrong voices, Should I should have a medal for that. Our kingdom lacks a military. We can only depend on young warriors like you. Gold spent supporting you is gold well spent. I, well, of course. Now we got 80,000 gold. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Ha ha ha. That's a cheat. That's an easy way to make money, eh? Huh. 80,000 gold just by talking to the king. Hmm. Oh well. So the second thing we need to do in this castle is to go to the top floor, I believe. Yeah, I think it's the top floor. Uh, with this is the trot. I can't speak today. I speak worse than ever. This is the top floor, and we need to talk to some little kid for some reason. Terrifying. Is this the girl? I like to collect cards. Yeah, this is the girl. Which I have the black card. Well, we have the black card, and we will we will get the brown card instead, which we then can trade for something different than the brown card again. Yay! Okay, let me see. Did I get the recipe in this uh, town the last episode? I can't really remember that. Only one way to find out. Oh yeah, puts on sunglasses. So let me see. Where would well, where would you find a chef? This place maybe. Uh, dang you! Get out of my face! Get out of my face, NPC! Here we have the evil oven. So I'm reliving all the memories of last time I were here. This is where I slept, and this is where I got captured. Then I got followed out here by some guards, and then I went to prison. It wasn't a very pleasant experience, I can tell you that much. Um. Let's see, where in the name of Hexicles am I supposed to go? Um, where is the freaking freaking frick? The freaking fricky frick frick. Now I'm just going offhand with using the word frick. Oh, right, I'm not supposed. Where are you? I was supposed to tell you this as well. When you find this girl, do not help her yet. You can do that later to get a title of a certain. Unlocky thingy. Hint, hint, wink, wink. As I've gotten the code name for it. I think this girl's lost. No, really? No, let's not help her. You know, we really don't have the time. I guess not. Yeah, you can. You can, you can do this on your own, you know? You, you, you're, you're a smart kid, probably. Uh, maybe. Okay, so. Take, that, take note of that. Help the girl later. I feel my commentary is just going straight down the drain this episode. Welcome. Please pay the no, I don't want to I don't want to pay. You can pay. Your face can pay. Okay, where is the wonder chef of wondrousness? Isn't it relish? Relish? Relish relish? No. Maybe I did get the wonder chef in the last episode. I am really, really unsure about that. I really not remember. 
I suppose I'll just say that I got in the last episode, but you know. So there's one last thing I want to show off in this episode. This is going to be a really short episode, which is just as good because the commentary in this episode is just total crap. I need to talk to Hoppy. I'm hiding for my wife. She never shuts up. Now this sounds like a Marie and Frank from Everybody Loves Raymond situation. We'll see, we'll see. And her wife, and her what? Her wife? No, his wife lives here and she, 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 she seems kind of pissed. Married woman. Hey, have you seen my husband around? Where'd he get off to and right when things are so busy too? Tell her? Yes. He's outside. Behind the inn. You're kidding! Thank you so much! Jeez. Let's watch him get burned! Because we're so evil. <laughs> Jeez, man, okay. Wifey. You pig headed moron! Stop goofing off here and come home! Yep, this is definitely a Marie and Frank situation. I'm sorry! Please forgive me! Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's not a Marie and Frank situation, mainly because Frank never says he's sorry. General store. A <laughs> general store. Isn't that a person from Sheep in the Big City? I believe General Store is a person on Sheep in the Big City. I really can't remember. I haven't seen the show in years. Sadly. It was an excellent show. Underrated. <laughs> now, enough of talking about the old animated shows on Cartoon Network. In the next episode, we will probably be heading off for Venezia, I believe. See you guys next time on Let's Play Tales of Fantasia, maybe. Perhaps.